Hi guys, um, today I'm going to film a top 5 um, lipsticks for autumn video. Um, these are just sort of the ones that I've been using a lot lately and that are good for the colder, darker months. Um, so before I get started, you might have noticed my background has changed yet again. I'm still trying to work out where's the best place like for lighting. So I hope this is alright. I think this may be slightly better than it was before. I don't know. Leave me a comment if you have any suggestions. Um, the other thing is you might notice I'm wearing eyeshadow, which I never ever do, but I'm going out for my friend's birthday tonight and just sitting doing my makeup and I thought, why not? So put on some eyeshadow, so um yeah, give it a little thumbs up down below if you like the eyeshadow. Um, so anyway, I'll just get on with the make uh, the lipsticks even. Uh, the first one I've got here is a Barry M one. Um, annoyingly, I can't remember what the shade is called, but it's got a number on the bottom one three six. But I will look it up and write down the name of it in the description bit below. But it's just a nice nude goldy colour. It's um, kind of quite shimmery but not too over the top. Um, I never really wear nude lipsticks because they really don't suit me I think because my skin is so pale nude lipsticks just really tend to wash me out a lot. But this one because it's kind of it's got gold tones um, it looks alright on me. That's just a wee swatch of it there. It's kind of gold a wee bit shimmery but not too over the top. Just like nice nude colour, which would be good for people that don't really like wearing nude colours. So that's by M136. I will look up the proper name of it and, um, and write it down below. The next one um, is another by M one. And this is the one that I've got on my lips just now. It's shade 141. Again, I'll look up the name of it. And I had a bit of an incident with this lipstick. I'm not sure what happened, but um, I went... I was just raking through my makeup box the other day and found this one. I thought, oh, that's a really nice colour for autumn, so I'll dig it out and start using it again. But um, when I turned it up, it was all like melted to one side. Not exactly sure what happened there. Must have, I don't know, left it on beside a heater or in the sunlight or something. I don't know. Anyway. And this bit comes off and it's really not meant to. But aside from that, it's a really nice lipstick. Um, it's a really nice colour. As you can see, it's like a deep sort of raspberry, pinky red colour. Um, again, it's got a little bit of shine to it, but nothing too intense. It's just a really nice deep berry kind of colour. Because um, mine's a bit melted, I just apply it with a lip brush. Um, I'm using the uh, detailer brush from the core collection of the Real Techniques brushes. It's really good for applying lip stuff, so that's what I'm using at the moment. So that's a really nice one, would definitely recommend that colour. Um, next one is a little bit more expensive. It's a matte lipstick and it's the shade... Russian Red, which is just a classic deep red shade. Um, it's not too bright and red, which sounds silly, but it's um, more of a deep shade rather than that sort of pillar box red, which I really like and I think is good for um, winter time. It looks quite bright on the camera, but in real life it's quite a deep shade. I just keep saying deep, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, it's also a matte shade so as you can see it doesn't have any shimmer or anything to it. It also smells really nice. It's got that kind of like vanilla-y sort of scent that MAC lipsticks have. It's really nice, I love this. It also it's really creamy and long lasting. Um, you don't have to reapply it too often. It's just really good. Um, Definitely my favourite MAC lipstick shade and it's perfect for autumn and winter when it's a bit darker and you want something bright on your lips. The next shade is a number 7 lipstick. It's this 
Day Perfect range and it's shade 55 Glassy. This is more of a pink lipstick. Um, but again, it has gold tones in it, which I think is really nice in the winter. Um, maybe it's just because it reminds me of like Christmas parties and stuff, but I definitely love gold tone things in the winter time. Um, you can't really see the gold so much on here, but well, you can kind of see it. It's kind of one of those like two-tone ones, like when you look at it one way it looks really pink and then when you look at it another way it looks quite gold. So I really like that and that is like super super creamy, the formula of this, it's really nice. Um, I'd say it's much more like creamier than the MAC lipstick. It's just, it's really pigmented as well, like much more so than the Barry M ones. I really love the colours of the Barry M ones but they're not quite as good for like staying power. Um, but this one is really good. This is actually the only number 7 lipstick that I have, but it's really nice, so I think I might um, purchase some more. So if you have any recommendations for shades um, that are really good, then do leave a comment. And on to my final one, number 5 is an e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Voodoo. It's again a red shade, but it's much darker, sort of almost like a burnt not for an orange but I don't know what the word for that is much deeper sort of it does have orange tones the Russian red's kind of more of like a blue toned one but as you can see that's kind of a bit more brown that's that one there and that's the MAC Russian red um, I've worn this in a couple of videos before I think um, it's really nice and it's great for the daytime. I think Russian Red is a bit too full on for daytime, but this one is really nice. It's not, it is really pigmented, but for some reason, because it's slightly more of a mute, because it's slightly more of a muted shade, it doesn't look as sort of in your face, so it's really good for wearing in the daytime. I've worn it. Um, a few times to like lectures and stuff at uni so really like that. So that was my sort of autumn winter picks for lipsticks and those are just a few of my favourites that I've been using quite a lot lately and will continue to use throughout the winter months. Um, yeah, um, do let me know what lipsticks you've been loving lately and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!